So it's not the first time I've hung around outside somebody's house who's rich or famous. But this time, well, I'm supposed to be here. Sony Ericsson have told me to come down and interview Maria Sharapova. I'm excited, mainly because A, she's hot, and B, because she's basically tennis royalty. Never interviewed a tennis player before in my life. So, thinking the fact that she's been a world number one and won Wimbledon, amongst other things, I think I should change into something a little more suitable. You see, my mate Jonesy told me that female tennis players can't resist a man in flannels, which is now what I am, styled on the last Englishman to win Wimbledon, which I think was Fred Perry. That's what Wikipedia told me. It might not be true, all right? Right, I'm gonna go get her. Maria, how are you? How are you? Good OJ, to meet pleased you. to meet you. Yeah, May I you say too. you look wonderful? Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, I'm escorting you down to okay. the Wimbledon pre party at the Roof Gardens. You? Thank uh, you. And I thought I'd bring my car. This is actually my car to go in. What do you reckon? Mm, not so much. You're not struck no. on it? No, not really. You know, is that, there an option? There is. Option B? There, there is, because normally, okay. that's what most people say, they look at it and go, no, so this is option B. Oh, okay, that's much better. Up Thank for that? you. Yeah, that's good. So Maria, welcome. Thank you. What do you reckon to the limo? I like Plan B better. Plan B was better. A lot more room. You were through to the final in Birmingham. Yes. How did it feel to get back to the top of your game? Good. It felt uh, great to be on grass again, and um, knowing that you know going to London's just around the corner, and Wimbledon's coming up really soon. Um, I was definitely excited, and here we are a few days before Wimbledon. Do you use music at all to get excited? Because I know if ever I've played a game, you know, of my my rubbish level like of Scrabble. Sport. Yeah, right. like Scrabble. I always use a big right. tune to get myself into Scrabble. Make sure I get that big right. seven-letter word right, out. Right, right, right. Um, I listen to a bit of music, and it always depends on my mood. Like sometimes, if I feel like I'm getting a little antsy, then I'll have music that's a little bit slower, and um, maybe like Dave Matthews, David Gray, um, a little bit of U2. Um, and then when I, you know, if I'm feeling like I uh, had an early morning and I didn't have a good night of sleep, then I'll listen to something that's like a little bit more, you know, upbeat. Maybe Eminem or Jay Z or that kind of stuff. Do you do a lot of shopping? I try to, occasionally. In London I do, Top Shop. What's it like when you go out and you see somebody wearing a piece of your clothing? Mm, it's crazy, and I, and I saw it a few weeks ago. I was in, in Paris during the French Open, and I was in the lobby of my hotel, and a, a Japanese lady, because um, Cole Haan sells in Japan, um, was wearing one of my ballerina flats, and I just I walked past her, looked down her shoes, and it took I had to take like three <laughs> double takes to, to make sure that it was mine, and then she didn't even know who I was, but I knew it was my shoe that I designed, and I felt like hugging her, but I didn't. So Maria, obviously the time of Wimbledon, it means you spend a few weeks away. Yes. How do you keep in touch with friends and family back home? Oh, I have many friends and family back home, and, um, and Timescape, um, you know, just really just signing up, going on, going on my phone, and uh, not only am I communicating with my friends, but all my fans around the world, just sending them a little message of, you know, just landed in London, here I am, and then all my friends and, you know, my family, if, if I can't call every one of them, you know, they know that I'm there, and as well as my fans. And, it, and obviously, talking of being a fan, if mm. you could have a dinner party, invite mm. someone famous, either dead or alive, right. who would you invite? I, I, I am free, just to let you know, if you want to invite okay, me. Okay, and I'm sorry to disappoint you, sorry. But um, it'd probably be Audrey Hepburn. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? <laughs> the one I really want to be, I don't think it's appropriate for TV, but I, I think I'd say I'd want to be invisible as the second option, because I love spying and I love all those things that, uh, that include, you know, going behind people's places and... <laughs> and figuring things out that all the information that I shouldn't really need to know. So with Facebook, obviously yes. your fans can tell what you're doing. Do you update yes. and let, let people know what you're doing? I do, I do all the time. As a matter of fact, I need to update my status on my Xperia right now and tell them I'm heading to the party so they better catch me there. As one of the most eligible bachelorettes in the world, what do you look for in a guy? I, I enjoy spending time with someone that's easygoing, that's funny, um, that understands what I do in my business and respects it and gives me my own space and own space. it's a pretty long, pretty long list. Cool. You're right. Gonna tired it? Yeah, no, I've just got it all. Yeah, um, I think I'm there. Excellent. I think I fit all those. So, uh, oh, get really? your number. Yeah. Mm, no. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I actually, um, but, um, I paid for this for uh, another, I've just got to do one more line. You do? Yeah, just got to do one more line, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, bye. It's been lovely. Um, well, I paid for this limo for uh, another half an hour, actually, so I think we'll uh, drive if you just want to drive me around for half an hour on my own. I'll be like my own Hindu. I'll lean out the window and everything.